So this is the wire loop which I'm going to sterilise. I'm going to turn around to a blue flame and I'm just going to pass the loop through the flame like so. You don't need to get it to white heat. It doesn't need to be melted. But that will now kill off any bacteria that we've got on the loop. I'm going to show you the procedure for preparing a streak plate. I've got a sterile wire loop here and a plate of plain agar and I'm going to streak plate Micrococcus luteus onto that. There are several ways you can do this. Uh, one of the best ways when you're first starting off is to turn the plate over and just to draw a line across the centre like so and then divide the top part off like so which gives you a guideline to actually start on. The idea of street plating is that I'm going to take a loopful of the bacterial culture and I'm going to start in this quadrant here and I'm going to draw that same loopful across through the second quadrant down into the bottom half and across. And as I do so, I'm drawing out the bacterial culture to a thinner and thinner consistency, which means that by the time I get here, you'll be able to see the individual colonies once the plate has actually grown in a day or two's time. So here we go. A little bit of poetic license here. I can't use a Bunsen burner by this visualizer that I'm doing the practical on. So you'll have to pretend that I've got a Bunsen burner here, which is a light. But what we'll be doing is, again, the famous two-hand trick. So I'm going to undo the culture, like so. I'm going to pass it through the flame on the slant. I'm going to reach in with my sterile wire loop and take a loop full of culture out. I'm going to flame the mouth of the culture bottle again, rotate the bottle, and now I'm ready to start streaking. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lift the lid up the bare minimum and reach underneath and very carefully draw across the surface and down into that bottom half and away we go. Sterilize the wire loop again. I'll do a second one. While the loop is cooling, I'll just divide the plate across the middle down from the top I'll again use Micrococcus luteus for this. So here we are. Sterile wire loop. Undo the bottle. Flame the mouth of the bottle. Reach in with the sterile wire loop and take a loop full of agar. Flame the bottle again. Put the lid on. Just reach underneath. I don't want to see any lids being taken off these agar plates. And just reach across. Now, the first time you do this, you'll probably finish up with something resembling a ploughed field. Now I'm going to just flame that once more. And that will sterilise it. But you're almost bound to find that your first attempt, or even your first two attempts, actually start to churn up the agar doesn't matter. You'll still get a result. And the more times you do a street plate, the more familiar you'll become. There is another method of using street plating, or there's several actually, and in some cases microbiologists will use their wire loop, and instead of doing the squiggle method, they'll do a series of streaks, like so. Uh, same thing happens, you're still drawing out the same loopful of agar into a much thinner region.